Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. As some of you know, a few days ago, I had a ballet recital and on Instagram, I posted some of the looks, the makeup, the tutus, and a lot of you asked me to recreate the look, to do a tutorial. Um, you were very um, encouraging, it was wonderful. So I thought, why not do that tutorial? And I had talked about the recital leading up to it, and some of you had even left comments asking me if I would do a makeup look in the future, so here I am. So before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. And let's go ahead and grab our iced coffee or our hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So I did the best of my abilities to do a little bun. I will be the first to admit that I am not a skilled a ballet bun creator. My friend Justine <laughs> did my bun the day of the show because we all have our talents in life and for me, doing a slick ballet bun is not it. Um, I had no idea how much work goes into doing a ballet bun. There was a hairnet, there was like 40 bobby pins, it was a lot. So as a disclaimer, I just want to say that I am not an expert in theater makeup or stage makeup. This is not a lesson in how to do stage makeup. This is how I did my makeup for the ballet performance. And I also did the makeup of a lot of other people because like I said, we all have our talents in life. And when they found out that I could do makeup, I was the designated makeup artist for everyone there, which was fun because I love makeup. So it was a pleasure and an honor. So yeah, this is not like a how to do stage makeup. This is my version, my interpretation, what I did. It looked beautiful in my opinion. It was very glamorous. It's also very heavy and intense. This is not like your everyday go to work makeup. This is like a ballet recital makeup. Maybe if you uh, figure skate or do gymnastics, I don't know if like there's certain rules in different sports, but maybe you could like translate this into something else. But this is what I did and it was very pretty. So yeah. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and use a primer. I'm going to go ahead and use the Milk Makeup Primer here. This is basically just like glue for your face. This makes the foundation stick on because I did have this makeup on for several hours and I danced and I rehearsed and I did all that and my makeup stayed in place. So you want a primer that is really just going to help your makeup and your foundation just like glue to your face. So I went with like three pumps. I went pretty generously with this primer. And then I went into the brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in a soft brown. So again, this is not like a light natural makeup look. I definitely went a bit harder with my brows. I just filled them in more and just pressed on the product more. Like usually with eyebrows, you want them to be soft. You want them to be defined. Um, I'm talking about like every day, but you know, for a performance, they need to stand out a bit, so I kind of just went over and over and over again. And then over top, I'm going over with, and then over top of that, I'm going in with a brow gel. This is the Chanel Le Gel Sourci. This is number 370 brown. This is basically just to help them stay in place, but I, I do wear a brow gel every day, so that didn't really change much. So I did respect the shape of my brows, but I just like kind of went a bit darker than I would normally. And usually when I fill in my brows, I kind of diffuse them more with the spoolie, but here I just left them kind of bolder and bigger. Um, and next I went ahead and primed my eyelids. This is the NARS Pro Prime Radiance Primer. You can use whatever primer you want, but again, if you're performing, you need primer. Like primer is your friend. You need to prime and lock everything down because you're going to be sweating, you're gonna be dancing, this is gonna be on your face for several hours, and you don't wanna like have to think about your makeup, you wanna have it done, and then just like move on with your day. So normally in real life I do my eyes first and then the face, but at the show I did my face first for some reason, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do today. I'm gonna to go ahead and use the Dior Forever Skin Glow. I am in the shade called what shade am I? 2W0. This is one of the new um, foundation products that came out from Dior this year. I think this came out in the spring. So anyway, this is like a medium coverage foundation, but I went pretty ham. And I don't usually like full coverage foundations. So this is like the most full coverage foundation that I own. So I just used this and I used like maybe five pumps the day of, like I used a lot of foundation. 
And also the day of, I wasn't wearing any jewelry because we weren't allowed to wear jewelry for the performance. That's pretty standard. So I'm using two pumps for half a face. Like I really want or wanted like a canvas. Like I really want everything to just look made up in a way because it was a pretty big theater and if you wore a light, like a light BB cream, you're gonna look washed out and like sick. So you kind of have to do like a cake face. And then I did actually go ahead and cover up my ears. I'm just trying to avoid my earrings. That's like my biggest pet peeve when I try on a foundation in store and the makeup artist or whatever puts makeup on my jewelry when I'm wearing it. Does that ever happen to you when they just like go over top of your earrings? Like I, I find that very annoying. Okay, now for the concealer. I went ahead and used the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer. I'm in the shade called Medium. I got a luxury sample here from Sephora. So I used this and I think I probably put on like three layers. Like I went, I, again, this is like pretty, I can describe this as ham. <laughs> like if you think of like going like full face of makeup, this is it. And then I did go ahead and put some up here and here and I did do the triangle with the concealer and then I did do like a, a triangle with my concealer to just like brighten up this whole area so I did go ahead and set my face I don't usually do this because I have dehydrated skin but again for the show you need like a full face so I'm going to head well, well, I'm going to go ahead and use the Chanel Le Beige healthy glow powder in number 20 it's part of the exclusive packaging here with this beautiful packaging. So I'm just gonna apply this very liberally all over the face. Okay, next up is some contour. I went ahead and used my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Mocha. This is these beautiful ones here. They're, they're the ones who magnetize, but anyway, Mocha is this really beautiful color. It's like kind of like my bronzer slash contour. So let's go ahead and do that. because more is more. And then over top of that, I went ahead and used my Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Powder Buddy number 50, which is my bronzer shade. I guess I should talk to you guys about the actual recital. I just realized that I didn't actually talk about that. So yeah. Um, I started taking, okay, well, let's go back. I used to dance when I was younger and then I stopped. Tail as old as time. And I, I think around this time last year, I decided to start dancing again. So yeah, I think it was like this time last year, I took like a summer uh, classes during the summer. It was like the summer session. And then when fall came around, I decided to keep going because it was great. And then in the winter, like after Christmas, um, the, like my teacher and the director asked me if I wanted to move up a level instead of being part of like, because I started dancing at the school last summer in like the adult intro beginner class. Like I think all ballet schools offer something like that. And so when January came around, they asked me if I wanted to move up a level. I was like... Oh, do you think I'm ready? And they're like, you should try. And I was like, okay, I'll try. It's kind of scary, but I'm really glad I did it. I'm really glad that I started ballet classes again. It's so crazy to think that like this time last year, I was like going back and forth. I was like, should I do it? Should I start ballet again? What's it going to be like? And now I'm like so in love. I'm so happy that I'm doing ballet again. So anyway, I started taking the I, started, I kept taking the adult intro beginner class and then also taking the more advanced class at the same time, which was challenging. It was like I started seeing a physiotherapist because literally every part of my body was aching all the time from all the ballet, but I'm glad I stuck with it and I'm glad I did the recital. 
It was very challenging, you know. Um, it's hard when you used to do something physical, like a sport with your body, and you can remember what you're supposed to do, but you can't get your body to actually go through with it. It's such a frustrating feeling. But I'm glad that I stuck with it and I stuck through and uh, it was fantastic. So the show that we did is Cinderella. We did Cinderella's Ballet and I was part of a group called the Invited Artists. So uh, the uh, it's part of the second act of the show right after intermission. So, you know, Cinderella, we know the story. You know, the big grand ball with the prince and Cinderella. We, like my class was part of the grand ball. We were the Invited Artists and we had these beautiful white tutus with these like rhinestones on them. We had rhinestones in our hair that were velcroed and they were kind of hard to get out, but anyway. And yeah, it was just a beautiful experience. It was wonderful. I'm so glad I went through with it. Would highly recommend it. Okay, so now that all of my bronzer is done, I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge and just like carve out under my ear like this, like going here, just to make sure that the contour stands out. This is specifically if you're on stage. <laughs> um, just to make sure that you can see a nice definition here and then for the blush i went pretty ham i used the thrive cosmetics this is the multi-dimensional strobing blush in rosy it's this beautiful color here as you can see i dug into it a lot and uh, i use a lot of blush because again you need to see it from way back in uh, the audience so this is so much blush it looks crazy in person but it worked, so what can I say? Okay, so moving on. So for the eyes, um, our instructions from our teacher were pink, brown, and white, which I translated into Neapolitan ice cream. So I'll show you what I did. This is a very old palette from Too Faced. It's called Naked Eye, and I used the shade called Satin Sheets. It's this beautiful pinky shimmer champagne color here. So I went ahead and used that first. So on the mobile lid. And then over top of that, I went back into the Thrive Cosmetics blush and packed on more of that color on the lid. I never realized how wonderful taking ballet classes as an adult would be. You know, I wanted to take ballet classes again for a very long time. And the longer I waited, the more I came up with excuses. I was like, oh, it's been so long. I'm so out of shape, blah, blah, blah. I think we just like, in general, we make up so many excuses for ourselves in a way that stop us from doing what we want. We think we're too old, we're too out of shape, we're too this, we're too that. And it, you know, we try to convince ourselves that we shouldn't do something that we really want to do. And it's so messed up because we tell ourselves that we're too much and yet not enough at the exact same time because that's what we're telling ourselves if you say like oh i'm too old it's like you're saying i'm not young enough you know anyway that's just my spiel because in a way you know going to a ballet class wearing a bodysuit and leotard it can feel very vulnerable and putting myself in classes that were above my skill level and just you know always being sore being physically in pain you know you kind of putting myself in these vulnerable positions really paid off i think there's just a lot to be gained from making yourself vulnerable you know going to a dance studio that i've never been to before wearing a bodysuit and leotard in front of a room full of people i don't know taking challenging classes that are beyond my physical capabilities. You know, those are all situations that made me feel very vulnerable, but the payoff that I got from allowing myself to be vulnerable is I can't even describe the joy and the satisfaction that I got from being able to perform the dance with peers that are just so wonderful and supporting and who are themselves amazing spectacular dancers so to be in that same level as them it's such a beautiful gift to myself that i allowed myself to be vulnerable and i went through with this like if you have anything out there 
that you want to do, and whatever it may be, like ballet, I don't know, or some thing that you've been wanting to do, wanting to try out, but you're too scared for whatever reason, honestly, I encourage you because the reward you get is outstanding. So moving on to the chocolate part, remember it's strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. So now I went ahead and used, again, the same palette as before, and I used the shade called, oops, oh my god, this palette is so broken, this one up here called Like a Virgin, and I mixed it with um, my Chanel Les Beige, the dark one, the number 50, and here we go. So just going in the crease here, and um, we're just going to keep building. And we were instructed to do like a little bit of a wing or like a flick with the shadow. So I tried to get the shape the best that I could and then I used the sponge to clean it up. So hopefully that'll work out again today. Okay, so this looks pretty wild, I'll admit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but we haven't finished off with the vanilla yet. So I'm going to go into the Dior Backstage Glow Palette. This is the one that came out last year. And I'm going to go into the top color here, and I'm going to go ham, as always. Over top of that, I went ahead and placed the Dior Pump and Volume HD Mascara. I think this could be a look that could work very well with fake lashes. However, I am not adept at applying lashes, so I just went with mascara. And then for the lips, our teacher described red but not too red which we all translated as pink um so a lot of the products that i use today some of them i did use the day of but some of them i didn't because we kind of all just like piled our makeup together and kind of like swapped and like if some person if someone used a brown kind of used the same one so we could ha have like the same colors um but um the lipstick that i used that day i don't have with me but i'm gonna go ahead and mix a couple just to get something similar to it so the first one is going to be the chanel rouge coco number 428 legende which actually looks pretty close to what I was wearing. So red, but not too red, which just means pink. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more pink on top. This is, what is this? The Chanel Rouge Allure number 165, Eblouissante. I think the shadow is not exactly perfect or identical, but the day of the recital, I was not exactly looking for perfection with the shadow because people were gonna see the makeup from so far away that the details, like the minute details, didn't really matter that much, so. So basically, this was the makeup, and then for the hair, the teachers went ahead and like placed these Velcro um, little sparklies. They basically looked like this, but they were Velcro. These are like, I got them from Arden, which is like Claris, but like with less asbestos. So I think I, got, I think I had something like this when I went to prom. So you kind of just like twist them into your hair. If this works. Does that work? Do I just look like Frankenstein? No. Let me just add a few more. It was a really cool experience just doing the recital because when I was younger, like I mentioned that I did ballet, I was in several performances of The Nutcracker and I wasn't sure exactly how I would feel doing a recital again, just like having all those memories flood back, but it was great, you know, um, being in the wings, being on stage, being in the theater, it was just very reminiscent, but in a very good way. I do feel the need to reiterate that this is heavy makeup for a ballet performance because I can just feel that like some random hater is going to leave a mean comment about this looking like too much makeup. But to that person, I say, kiss my tutu. All right, this is it. This is the recreation. All that's missing is the actual tutu, which I don't own, unfortunately. I really did not want to take off my tutu at the end of the recital. I was like, can I just like stay in this? Can I just keep this to like leisure around? It turns out you can't, you have to return it. But anyway, it was just so beautiful. I didn't want to take it off. And then after the show, my husband and I and one of our friends, Heather, we went for dinner and the, like that day, the, sh the day of the show, I woke up at like quarter to six and 
I left, like I got at the hall, the recital hall at like 7.30 maybe, and I left around 7.30 p.m. And when we got to dinner, when we sat, when we sat down, when we ordered, I literally thought I was going to pass out in my plate of pasta. I was just like so exhausted from just being up that long. And then at that point, all the adrenaline just left my body. And I was just like, I was, yeah, I was kaput. I took a bath when I got home and I fell asleep in the bath kind of just like a little bit. I woke myself up and then I slept for 11 hours. I went to bed at like 830 and uh, yeah, that was my day. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys got some ideas for some upcoming recitals. I don't know if you do ballet at home, if you have kids who do ballet, you could do this like Neapolitan ice cream eyes. I think it could work really well. I, I'm assuming I'll probably end up doing a look like this for like future shows. But yeah, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you do ballet at home, if you used to do ballet. Let me know some of your ballet hair or makeup tips. I would love to know. I would love to talk to you guys about ballet. It's like one of like my loves in life. I love ballet so much. But anyway, hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Please feel free to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. And that's all I have for you guys for today. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.